it's Hasa, and today we are doing a controversial video. I already did my top 10 favorites Beanie Boos list, so now it's time for my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list. And before you guys go and leave me a hate comment and a dislike, I'd just like to say that everybody is entitled to their own opinion. If somebody right now made a top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list and they put Slick as number one, I mean, I'd be a little concerned about their vision because... But I'd still respect their opinion, so I'm asking you guys to respect mine. And I don't really hate any of these Beanie Boos, except for the last two, but the other ones I just don't really like them all that much, but I don't hate them. So I'm sorry if you like any of these Beanie Boos. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, time for number 10. But number 10 on my least favorite Beanie Boos list is Tusk. And gee, I feel kind of bad about this one because when she came out, I was a little excited about her because Ty had never done a Beanie Boo Walrus and I was excited that they were trying something new. But now looking back on it, I feel like they could have done a much better job with her design. I wish they wouldn't have made her standing up. I mean, it just kind of looks a little weird. I wish they just would have made her like, you know, laying down kind of like Iceberg the Beanie Boo and just put the walrus tusks on her. And I also wish she wasn't pink. I mean, I wish they would have made a brown walrus because I just like the more realistic Beanie Boos and it was weird that they made a pink one before they made the realistic colored one. I'm sorry, Tusk. I don't hate you. Number nine on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list is the Uniboos in general. Now, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out before I am attacked. I like the Uniboos, okay? I like their designs. What frustrates me so much is that Ty feels the need to put a horn on a perfectly good Beanie Boo. Like, I would love these Beanie Boos so much more if they just didn't have the horn. It doesn't ruin them, I guess, but it just, it just makes me upset, okay? I'm editing the video right now, and I'd just like to say that what annoys me is that Ty does it so much. I was fine with the first couple Beanie Boos because they were new and unique, but now Ty is just slapping horns on any Beanie Boo, and I am tired of it. So I keep buying them because I like the Beanie Boos a lot. I really do. I love them, actually. But it just frustrates me with the horn, you know? I love the Beanie Boos, but not the horn. But number eight on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list is Bloomy the Bunny. And I actually saw her on some other top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list, and I agree with the people who put her on the list. Now again, this is not a terrible Beanie Boo, and I actually was, you know, kind of excited for her when she came out because she was a new Beanie Boo, but even back then, I was upset about the new design and was low-key scared that they were gonna keep making the Beanie Boo bunnies like her. Because for whatever unknown reason, Ty decided to make her head really big, like, compared to all the other Beanie Boo bunnies, and her ears really small. Like, what kind of a design choice was that? She looks very disproportionate. And I also didn't like the fabric on her, on her feet and on her arms. It's this scratchy, glittery fabric that is just rough when you touch it, and, like, the glitter falls off, which I don't really like. I do like the pattern on her though, which is mostly the reason I bought her. They are these little Easter eggs, and I think that's a cute design choice. But I just really didn't like what they did to the bunnies that year, and I'm glad that they went back to making our regular bunnies. Number 7 on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list is the Dory Beanie Boo. I just don't really like the licensed character Beanie Boos in general. They just look off. Like, for some reason, Ty always makes the eyes smaller than on regular Beanie Boos. Like, why? That's the whole point of Beanie Boos. Why make them smaller? And she just looks a little creepy. Like, why does she have teeth? Who decided to give her teeth? And also, why is she like this shape? I don't get it. <laughs> she also isn't like soft or squishy, which, eh. And when I got her, I was excited because Otai had never made a blue fish Beanie Boo, but then Aqua came out, who is just a lot cuter, and I just don't really like the Dory Beanie Boo all that much. 
Number six on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list are the Paw Patrol Beanie Boos. These are actually kind of cute, but you know, I don't really watch Paw Patrol, so I just would never really want to get them. But for somebody who watches Paw Patrol, they would be something cute to buy. But again, with the licensed Beanie Boos, time makes the eyes smaller for no reason. They don't look like Beanie Boos. They look like Beanie Babies with sparkly eyes. And I just don't like that. <laughs> Numbers five, four, and three, yes, I gave them three spots on the list because why not, are the Pony Beanie Boos. And when these ones came out, I genuinely thought that Ty was making more My Little Pony Beanie Boos, but it turns out they weren't. These are just regular Beanie Boos, and I was so confused because they don't look like Beanie Boos. Why are they standing up? And why do they have the actual hair on the mane? I don't get it. I wish they would have made those pony Beanie Boos similar to Harriet and all the other like horse slash pony Beanie Boos because these ones are so cute. But no, they had to make them creepy. Imagine the one called Cinnamon if it was sitting down like this and looked like this. That would have been freaking adorable, but no. I've seen them in person at the actual store and I just hate that they use like Barbie hair on the mane instead of just the, you know, fluffy plush that they use normally because it looks so weird and it feels so weird. Like who needs Barbie hair on their stuffed animal? Poor K. Poor K, Ty. They don't fit in with the rest of the Beanie Boos. They just look strange. Sorry, I just got a little aggressive there, but I just don't like the pony beanie boos. Like, ugh. Number two on my top 10 least favorite beanie boos list is Camilla. And no, I'm not talking about Camilla Cabello. I am talking about Camilla the Poodle. Who at time thought this was a good idea? Why did they, why? 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 Who at Ty thought it was a good idea to make a poodle in the body of an ostrich. Why? Uh, it just doesn't make sense and it does not look cute. It doesn't look cute at all. Like it's just this like round little puffball body with her arms and legs dangling outwards and then this stick connecting the head to the body and then that little smirk she has. That smirk, it angers me. It makes me mad. It's like, she's like, ha 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 sa. You don't like me. Ha ha. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> when she came out, I was like. <coughs> but yeah, this is one of the only two Beanie Boos that I will literally say I hate. I hate Camilla the Poodle. I do not like her at all. Now, the one you all have been waiting for, number one on my top 10 least favorite Beanie Boos list is Jerdy the Giraffe. I don't know what y'all- ah! You better stop, stop! Oh. Bitch, stop! Ah! Uh, <laughs> why? You guys probably could predict which one this one was gonna be because I have already raged about this Beanie Boo in another video. But anyways, just from the name, you can tell that this Beanie Boo is not gonna be good. I mean, why Jerdy? Who chose the name Jerdy? Who chose this Beanie Boo in general? Like, again, it is the round, fluffy little giraffe ball with, you know, the little arms and legs flailing out everywhere with the little stick connecting its head with its giraffe head. Like, <clears throat> why? Like, it looks so weird. Like, he even has giraffe, like, flappy little wings. Why did he need to have that? And then also, I just hate, 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 hate the way that his head is all fluffy. And then in the middle, like, his small little beady little eyes are staring at you. Like, the part around his face isn't fluffy. That doesn't make sense either. Nothing about this Beanie Boo makes any sense at all. And then also, just like Camilla, his feet are also the hard sparkly fabric, which I really don't like. So again, less points. Woo, that was an interesting video. 
Again, these Beanie Boos aren't the worst, and I'm not judging you if you like them. They are still good Beanie Boos, I just don't really like them as much as I would other Beanie Boos. So if you like these ones, I'm not judging you. That's totally okay. I probably like some Beanie Boos that you don't like. But anyways guys, thank you so so much for watching, and tell me in the comments down below, what are your 10 least favorite Beanie Boos? Anyways, thank you so so much for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one! Bye-bye!